Holy buckets! Where'd these come from? They are huge! They're big. <laughs> they are huge! Hello, 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 hello! Guys, I want to give everybody a warning today. My voice is completely gone. It's kind of a bummer because I bought Dad the world's largest tires and I was going to surprise him with them. So let me give you a little backstory here. This is my dad. His name's Daddy Cornstar. And, well, he's like the most generous person on the planet and he's always doing everything for everybody else. And that kind of makes it really hard to get him gifts for because he doesn't want a whole lot. I got thinking, what could we do on the farm that would just be absolutely over the top, that would just blow his mind? So a few months ago, Dad Cooper Sable and I went to a farm show and there was an LSW 1400 on display. So while we were at the display, we got visiting about this LSW 1400 and I asked Dad what he thought of him. He's like, this would be really cool to run on our 340. So I got the idea, hey, I could get Dad a set of LSW 1400s. So I got a hold of Scott Sloan from Titan Tire and I ordered a set of LSW 1400s and 1100s for our Magnum 340. Now he's supposed to be here in like 30 minutes, so I need to get the Dell Handler out and I need to figure out how we're gonna surprise Dad with these. Good morning, what a brisk, not such a great, you know, I take that back. It is a very great day. 23 degrees today, right now, but they're talking 56. Take a look at my new sweatshirt. Just got it in the mail. Sable should be here in just a little bit. What we're gonna be doing today is taking corn out of the big machine shed, and we're gonna be filling the hopper bottom. I need to be honest with you guys, this isn't a full surprise, because Dad knows we're getting them. He just thinks we're getting them after planting season, not before. He's never seen a pair of LSWs actually mounted on a rim before. So this is gonna be a mind blowing experience for him because they're way bigger when there's a rim inside of it. Let's go surprise dad. The camera might be a little foggy because we just came from the cold into the heat. I know my glasses are fogging. And so when my glasses are fogging, it's probably pretty cloud clance. Good little dude, you guys are seeing fog. Hey, telehandler, oh telehandler, where are you now? Okay, let's let's think about this a little bit. What do we put in first? A trailer that you have to be hooked up to, or telehandler that you can just start and back out? Yeah, let me go for this kid loader. Okay, I think Scott's here. We're gonna let this warm up and uh, we better go get Dad's reaction. Okay, right now we got Scott sitting down there at the corner. Dad's hiding in here. What am I up to today? I'm moving corn. Huh? Where'd these come from? Holy buckets! I thought you said they were gonna be here until when. Wow! Yeah. They are huge! They're big. <laughs> they are huge! That's the biggest ag tire in the world right there. Look at your new tire sable for the tractor. They are the largest <laughs> ones in the world. I talked to you, Scott, but my voice What is... happened to you? I guess I talked too much. Yeah, you might talk too much, huh? <laughs> when that come about? Not but soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we could just cover this up and use it as a pool. The real question is, if I get a bolt adapter, could we put these on my Geo? You, know, you could. You might have to raise it up a smidge. You guys are sneaky, I gotta admit. Were you confused when we were back there just staring at you with the camera? I didn't think nothing of it, I guess. This is better than, oh, it's better than Christmas. Wow, we made it better than Christmas. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> is it better than Heinz ketchup? <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. But I can eat a sandwich with Heinz ketchup on these tires. <laughs> as big as these things are, you can just lay on them. I can't believe you guys knew they were coming. I don't think I've ever seen you smile so big. Yeah, they're just different. <laughs> <laughs> Does Cooper know they're coming? No. Oh, when he gets out of school, he's gonna he's gonna fall over just like me. Well, my heart. Skip some beats. These are our 1400s, our LSW 1400 30R46, and this just happens to be the largest egg tire in the world, and we've had this out for a couple, three, four years now. So this is the maximum flotation you get on a four wheel or a mechanical front wheel drive now. People that put these on versus duels, they actually have like fist fights who gets to operate the machine with the floats on it. So I don't know who's gonna win this one. Who's gonna drive it? Who's driving it? Probably Sable. <laughs> And you know, I don't know about you, Cole, but the only thing I can see a little different here that might make the videos a little better. I told you I am not responsible enough for pit vipers. <laughs> hey, well, if you ever become responsible enough, if you order through the link in the description, you automatically get 15% off. Well, Cope, what do you think? I thought they were bigger. I don't remember what I did with my mouth. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's on my head. I wish it would warm up a little bit. It's still cold in here. How tall are you? I'm six foot seven. Go down the hill. Uh, oh, it has diarrhea. That's about 900 pounds. So about as much as Cooper weighs. Come on, give it a big push. Hey Coop, you know what? I've been looking for a geo track. I mean, I travel all over the Midwest and this is the nicest one that I've seen. Cut a deal, maybe for the tires, car, tires, car. I, I don't know. I, I know it's real nice and, and I know it'd be hard to come down and I can appreciate I a nice tracker. Like, I just feel like you're not, there's a lot of value to this. There, there is, and if the mouse comes with it, all right, I'll throw in an extra, I don't know, maybe a inner tube or something. I mean, really, I, I, it's, it's something I've really been looking for. How about this? If you have a guy come out and stall them tires. All right, it's a deal, man. Appreciate it. Yes. We'll load it up now, so uh, I'm glad. This thing is a pile. Hey, 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 don't scratch the paint. I don't know if you can't see right now, but it's obviously not the wall. This guy can get out of here. That's a good trade tire for a car. <laughs> I thought it was a great deal until he scratched the paint. People are going to drive past. They're going to stop thinking you're selling tires. Now. Yeah. You're getting yeah. quite a stockpile of tires. Now. And I couldn't wait to get out of here. Oh, wait. Where can they find you? I'm right here. <laughs> Goodyear Farm Tire channel on YouTube. You're going to see hundreds of videos of LSWs. And then check out our titan-intl.com. What do you think? I like them. I like I didn't want to see them on the tractor now. These things are going to be, they're going to be beyond cool. All right, today's Friday, which means it's play day, whatever, I don't know. But I'm gonna pull this out and unfold the planner and make sure everything works, I guess. Really? I just put that book away yesterday and now it's in my way again. Get out of here. Oh, blue. Now, there we go. Long ways back there, so it's nice to have a little, uh, a little help back there we're backing up. It's like running the spaceship. So when we go down the road, we put these blocks in because we've heard of several people uh, bending their hydraulics and the whole planter falls on the ground. So this just kind of prevents from if a cylinder fail or something, your whole planter doesn't drop going down the road. My, actually, my best friend, it actually did happen on him. He went down the road and all the cylinders folded, uh, totaled the whole planter, bent every single row. Right now what we're just trying to do is put the planter through its paces, make sure everything works, make sure we don't have any sensors buffs and at us and stuff. If you don't know what these are, when you're driving through the field, this used to be what marked the center of your next pass. So you line up the radiator cap of the tractor with the line that makes in the dirt, and then you know you're planting where you're supposed to be. But since we have auto steer, we don't use these. But you can use them to just double check yourself. That's what the 1100 is going to look like in the front. The 1400 is about <laughs> that much wider. Now I think we're pretty much done with everything over here. I'm going to bring the telehandler back home and then uh, got some computer stuff to do. I think the worst part about moving corn is getting dust in your eyes and in your mouth. Too bright. By the way, if you see my purple lips, I just got done eating blueberries. But my yard here is littered with all sorts of lath. Uh, let's not even talk about that lath mountain. We need to start getting this stuff picked up because once this grass grows and it becomes hip high, I'm never going to be able to find this stuff. And for some reason, there is insulation all over here in my front yard and I can see it falling from the house somewhere, but I don't see where it's coming from.
So what we're kind of doing here is we're taking this longer lath and we're separating it out into these nice bundles. We got some baling twine here so that way we can wrap them up nicely. My aunt and uncle asked if they could have this because they're building a great and bend gazebo and they want this to be the ceiling of it. Kind of give it that old cool rustic look. And I feel like a crab. Oh, it'll be so nice when we can just clean up the machine shed here, use it for machinery. Sable just went home for the night. Mama Cornstar's bringing home. Yes, she's bringing home pizza because we haven't had it for so long and I'm craving it. Oh. Family. Hi, hey, family. family. What is in my outfit? It's real nice. Yes. Yeah, I got it on the pants. Oh, lumberjack. You want to see Cooper took a shower for the first time this month? No, that's tomorrow. No, I look like a Dinosaur! <laughs> you don't look like a dinosaur. I don't want to know what we really think you look like. Oh, oh. A llama. <laughs> a llama? A llama? Mama Cornstar. Oh, you know what we had for dinner today? What? Pizza! Uh-uh. Yeah. Can't believe it. It's rare. Rare occurrence. That's right. Oh,